Si, si, si. Oh, yeah, it's dangerous. See, I have a, I have a strap. See, it, it, it's polygrosso. Si. It's polygrosso. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, amigo. This part's peligroso. So I asked him if he could take me somewhere where I could buy a football shirt. And he took me to a football pitch. Buenos dias guys, welcome back to another video. On this video we're going to be exploring arguably the biggest market in Central America. Uh, it's got about 20,000 stores, it covers 24 blocks, it takes up the whole Gamala area in Lima. So it gets about 100,000 people visiting every day. So we're up early to try and avoid the crowd. Luckily it's a Thursday as well. So. Uh, yeah, let's go check it out and we're going to grab some breakfast first and, and we'll uh, get a taxi. Uh, muchas gracias, senor. Gracias. Oh, si, 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 si. Gracias, buen día. Ah, Gracias. So this is the marketplace and it smells of fish. I thought I was going to be seeing a... Uh, I thought I was going to be coming to a textile and clothes market but instead I've, I've come to somewhere where they're selling a lot of fish. So as I was saying previously this marketplace. Buenas, buenas. This this marketplace is um is mainly for the locals because this is where they find the wholesale food. This is where they find the wholesale meats, the, the the textiles, and you don't really see many gringos, gringos, Western Europeans, Canadians, or Americans here. Plus, it is in a, a dangerous part of uh, Lima. You can probably see why. Let me show you. So it's not the safest part to be in. But I, I wanted to see this. This is supposed to be the biggest market in Latin America. And yeah, do you know, these things are worth seeing. I'm not saying it's unsafe to come here, but what I am saying is to take precautions. Um, I have got a bag with me but there's there's nothing in it. I've got a charger just in case my camera dies. And that's about it really. So we're gonna keep looking around and see what we see what we can find. Go on ass. Mascarillas, la caja de 50 mascarillas a 4 soles. 
there's a uh, thousands thousands and thousands of stores and the problem this this has been going now for 50 years and the problem they have here is most of these stores are informal which means that they're not paying taxes and it's all cash you can't really pay on card here um, which is fine you know if you're a local but it, it still doesn't solve the problem of um, the life of the Peruvian people you know the Peruvian people need the government to do something but the government also need to uh, have money to be able to do something and so whilst people are not paying taxes it, it's catch-22 but but yeah there's thousands of stores 20,000 20, stores spread over 26 blocks in Lima and I'm not probably I'm not gonna be able to get around that all day but if I do I've done hey. it's good exercise hey amigo Buenas, me amo Jason. Uh, what, what, what's what's rough? Video que te robe. Thank you tell. Thank you tell. Esto es video que te robe. Sí, sí, sí. Oh, it's dangerous. See, I have a, I have a strap. See, it, it, it's polygrosso. Sí. It's polygrosso. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, amigo. Es this part's peligroso. Toda parte de acá es peligroso. Sí. Ten cuidado. Ten cuidado. Okay. Uh, uh, yo camina, camino this, uh, this way. Camino this way. Camino this way. Sí. Poquito español. Sí, hablo poquito español. Okay. Muchas gracias. So the fella's just warning me that it, it's a dangerous area and someone could just come along and snatch the camera out of my hand. I mean, it is strapped to my wrist, so it's not particularly gonna happen. And the thing you have to do is when you come to these dangerous areas is just walk like you know what you're doing, um, carry on like you know what you're doing and just hold yourself hold yourself well don't make yourself look vulnerable and that's exactly what we're doing and I think I think the tattoos help as well I'm a big man you know I'm a big man I'm I'm nearly six foot so <laughs> yeah but that was nice of him to yeah. it was nice of him to uh, to warn me you know that someone could potentially uh, snatch the camera out of my hand. So yeah, as I was saying, it is a dangerous market. It is a dangerous market, but it's interesting. It's interesting for you all to see what they sell here. They sell fish, they sell clothes, they sell vegetables. They sell everything you want, and it's very cheap. But I want to try and get to the place where I can haggle a little bit. I'm not haggle to the point, but I don't want to take anything from people, but they're going to look at me and think, oh, he's a gringo, he's a gringo, we can charge him a lot. So I'm, I'm going to be fair, but I, I, I don't want... There's a lot of people who will try to take your money, take as much as they can off you here. Now, Peruvian people are very nice, but... Uh, uh, bonus. Uh, me amo Jason, me too. Guan. Guan, nice to meet you, Guan. Uh, um, the compart, uh, camista, Peruvian football, camista. Is it bien? Si, okay, mucho gusto, mucho gusto. You know, I, I really do need to work on my Spanish and I've been working on my Spanish for four weeks now at a school in Lima some of it is sinking in and you know it's just practicing but people are struggling to understand what I'm saying here and uh, 
yeah but we'll keep trying we keep going at least I'm making an effort what I've found in South America is not many people do speak English it's it, it's not needed nobody wants to no one's interested it's Spanish and that is it Spanish through most of South America uh, so yeah let's keep having a look around see what we can find So we've got a tuk tuk. He's gonna take us around to have a look around. Yes. See, see, see. So I asked him if he could take me somewhere where I could buy a football shirt and he took me to a football pitch. Definitely need to brush up on my Spanish. Definitely. So this is the main market area where all the clothes are. Luckily it's not that busy. So this is the main area where all the, where all the main shops are for, uh, just for the textiles and everything. It seems real, but it's not. And the Lacoste badges that are embroidered on the t-shirts of oh, top quality as well um, but we're not going to buy any because I wouldn't buy a real Lacoste top for the price they are anyway hola amigo, no gracias uh, so what we're trying to do let's have a look in here See, it's Tommy Hilfiger. Hmm. Uh, just looking. I'm just looking. See, see. Hmm. Tommy Hilfiger T-shirt. Uh, quanto cuesta, por favor? Veinte por mayor. Veinte. Veinte soles. Ah, it's muy bien. And uh, see, todo. Toto. Ocho. Si ocho. Uno ocho. Ah, okay. So 18 soles and 20 soles. It's good quality. Hmm. Much as gracias. That, that was good quality. For 20 soles, it's about £3.50. So that, is, that, that was good, however, when you put it in the wash, 
it's probably going to shrink. I think that's the problem with most of the uh, most of the fake clothes here. It just keeps going and going. It, it, it doesn't stop. I've been walking up here for God knows how long now. Hola. I see, I see a Peruvian shirt. No gracias amigo. People haggling everywhere. So that's what we want there. Hmm. Amigo. Uh, uh, ¿Cuánto cuesta, por favor? Uh, 35. 25? Sí, 35. Uh, okay, bien, sí, 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 por favor. En ese color tengo. Uh, eh, solo ese color. Solo, solo. solo. Ese color, blanco. Blanco, por white. favor. Sí, blanco, blanco, blanco. Sí, this one. This one. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Muchas gracias. Sí, sí. Gracias. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Bye bye. Ah, no necesito. Gracias, amigo. Gracias. Ah. No gracias, no gracias. No gracias. No gracias. So we've got what we wanted. We got a Peruvian football shirt. So I think that is pretty much me finished here now. Uh, you've seen it for yourself. This market goes on and on and on and I couldn't possibly cover it all in one day. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out on this one guys, but keep giving me comments. If you wanna know something, just ask. I promise I'll respond to you all. And um, if there's anything you want me to do or anything you need to ask, just drop it in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao for now.